All right, folks, so where are we today? It is a new day. Um, I think it's the last day of the month. I think so. Let's scroll down. I am on pattern-collections.com on the website, scrolling down to pattern focus. If you guys have no idea where I get my daily patterns, well, then you are not watching my video. You're just yammering on. So, you know, watch the video. I show you exactly how to get here. Absolutely. Let me go back for just a second. Today is the last day of the month. Oh my gosh. Okay. I need to find a new background for next month. Remember to do that. That's what happens when I do a marathon drawing session. I have to remember what day actually is. Okay. So this is called A and D bow ties. I'm not sure what the A and D has to do with anything, but you know, whatever. Uh, by Carla Suzuka. Looks like the first thing we are going to do, it looks like it's a ribbon tangle. And the first thing we're going to do is draw a ribbon. Does not have to be straight, clearly. It can be wonky. Um, and then we're going to draw some connecting lines vertically. And then we're going to put dot in the middle. This needed to be separate step outs. I think you needed to put the dot in the middle. So you have lines and dots, and then you're going to connect corners that way. And then this way, this way is going to be harder to remember. It's not out down into the corner, but it's part way, about halfway up. Going across. These are connecting that dot to that dot. So you're actually just kind of connecting the dots and then that one goes off into wherever it would be connecting to the next dot. I see that now. Okay. And then you go down into the corner. This has got a lot of steps. And then into this corner. And then it looks like that. Hmm. <laughs> so that's what it looks like when you have, um, filled in that shape, that bow tie shape. It's interesting. We'll just play with it. See what, see what we get. Definitely going to make sure I have it nice and big over here because this one looks like it's got some some serious thought process is going to have to go on here. So, um, let me put a border for sure. Do I want the border? I don't know if I want it pencil border if I want a solid border. So I'm not going to do a solid border just yet. Um, let me do, I like, I like on the sample how the, um, ribbon is actually smaller here than it is there. I, I like that. And I think I'm going to make it even more pronounced. So I'm going to kind of go like this and like this really get bigger on this side. But I made it wonky on purpose. So then I want verticals. how I'm going to go. Something like that. 
And then in the middle of these, there are circles. I'm gonna make them ever so a little bit smaller as I go down. Okay, next step. This is one of those ones that's gonna have too many steps for me. It's gonna have too many steps to remember for me to put it into my go-to library in my head. Just because. Okay, so on we're gonna want to put a line here and here on each one of these. Like that. Oops, I didn't catch. Next line, we're actually going from the bottom of this dot to the top of that one. Bottom to top, bottom to top, bottom to top, bottom to top. So this one will go that way and this one will come this way. Okay, so that's that line. And then the next line goes from this to this corner, like that. This one is going to go off into the distance there. Okay. Then the next step is on the other side, we do the same thing from here and up into the corner. like that. And that is it. Something doesn't seem right. Oh, well, that's right. Okay, so when she colored it, because I like it colored, let me look at which part of this shape she colored in. She colored in this one and that one. Okay, let me get my brush tip and color in this one. And this one. better with the coloring in. It needs that bigger contrast so it doesn't look like just a bunch of lines that are strange. bring this to me a little bit. I might, I'm trying not to go off camera, but. I need to go get new glasses. Need to call, now that it's in, going to be June tomorrow. New plan year starts in June. I can call the eye doctor. And go get new glasses. I think my eyes have changed a little bit. 
I end up having to move my head slightly to see, which usually means I'm a little bit off from my last prescription. There we go. Okay, that's interesting. I don't know that I would pick it as a pattern uh, on a regular basis, but it's not a bad pattern. It's not. And I'm wondering, I, I, I know what it looks like as just a ribbon with some embellishments, but I'm starting to wonder what would it look like if I filled the whole tile with this pattern? So that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to now do another wonky line on either side like that and then going to do this. Like that. And I'm going to put it again and see what happens. And what? Then it was this one. Okay, and then what? Then it's the bottom of this dot to the top of that one. Bottom to top, bottom to top, bottom to top, and then that way. Same thing, bottom to top. And then it's this corner to here. And this corner to here. It's not a hard one to draw now that I've got it kind of down. It's not so bad. And then this to there. And 
this to there. And then we're going to color those ones. Okay, marker. Definitely coloring it in really makes this tangle for sure. Wonder what this one would look like. Um, if you guys want to try it, I'm, I'm wondering what this one would look like if you drew most of it with the um, pencil and then just made selected choices on which lines to actually pen in, that it would look completely different. So you could draw this as a grid. See how if, if you drew it as a grid, how it would, they would line up? That would be interesting. I would try that too. If you're going to try this one, I would, I would definitely try drawing it as a grid. then you would have more consistent um, squares and it would look different. And that actually might be one that I would enjoy more than this ribbon. I don't know, for some reason ribbon tangles, I find that I don't use them that often in my, in my work. I, I would rather actually do a grid than a ribbon most of the time. Not always, but most of the time. There we go. Well, that's interesting. I like it. It's different. Okay. I'm just going to leave it just like that. And, um... Shade needs shading, but I don't know how I want to shade it. You know, I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do both sides of this. This side of this one and that side of that one. That'll make it look like this one's on top of these others that it's overlapping.
There we go. What do you think? Something like that? Does it live that way? Or does it live that way? I think it lives that way. Okay, so it's gonna live. What did I decide? I decided it lives. Lives that way. Oops, wrong pen. Can't sign with that one. Actually, it lives this way. Okay, this one is called A and D bow ties. A and D bow ties is today's pattern. That didn't take too long to draw. You guys have fun with it, play with it, do it in different ways. You know, pattern play, important thing to do. All right, you guys have a great day. I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the beginning of a new month. And so I need to figure out what color I wanna be on my background. And I will see you later, bye-bye.